hey guys, how's it going? My name's Always, and welcome back to Terraria! In the last episode, we were exploring around in the snow biome, the ice biome, whatever you want to call it. Uh, trying to find an item, which I still don't have. Uh, I've been working on something else uh, that has been kind of long overdue. Uh, so we're going to address that today, and... Uh, FYI, it's not it's not my sorting system. Um, I'll get to that soon enough. Um, but today, what I wanted to do, and what we're gonna work on, is making a compact fishing area. Um, so down here, I have some Martian conduit, um, kind of lined up how I need it, and um, this entire area is basically exactly what I need. So um, for the time being. Uh, this is what we're going to work on, um, which we should be able to finish today. Uh, just a little bit of an FYI, by the way. Um, I have Martian Conduit on this side, and then uh, demon or Obsidian Bricks on this side. The reason being, I ran out of Martian Conduit, so uh, yeah, I just kind of went with another type of brick that is not corruptible. Um, and that is very important. We need to have three wide walls, and things cannot be corrupted. So, uh, hopefully I've made this correctly, and we'll get into all the details about it. But first, um, first thing, I was looking for the Martians and encountered another slime, King Slime. So, there we go, whole bunch of stuff. Uh, let's just go through here and try to dump off everything. Um, something else that happened between episodes, uh, I was doing fishing quests for the angler, and got the tackle box, which is something I don't think we've gotten so far. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, so first things first, we need some stuff. Um, the tackle box, I think I'm actually gonna put in here. That ac that also combines with some other equipment, which I don't know if we have. Honestly, I don't remember. Uh, when I search through things, I will I will find, um, but that doesn't matter right now. Uh, all the tackle box does is decrease uh, the chance of uh, uh, using bait. Now, actually, if we have the other one, movement info might be under info movement. Um, hmm. Don't see it in there. Is it per chance in here? Nope. Okay, so um, we just need one more item, and uh, then we'll be able to make a fishing kind of equipment that is pretty good. Um, the only thing we need left is the, I believe it's the fishing earrings. Um, and then we can combine that with the uh, high test fishing line and the tackle box to make uh, another item that gives all three effects. So it's kind of cool. But, uh, right now, what we need to do is terrible. Uh, we need to go back to the jungle. We need more lizard bricks. Um, and I want to get this darkness, because why not? Uh, let's see, what else happened between episodes? I was attacked by pirates, um, which doesn't really matter. Uh, it just, it happens, and I kill them. Uh, but yeah, so, today we're going to be working on this fishing thing. And, uh, full disclosure... I did not design this farm. Uh, I did not design this compact fishing area. Um, I'm going to put a link, if I should remember, uh, I'm going to put a link to the forum um, page where uh, the person that did come up with it kind of details it all and explains how to build it. Uh, I just found it and I really like the design. Uh, it's incredibly simple uh, and yet very powerful to be honest. Um, because what it is, and I guess I can explain this a little bit, but the way fishing works is um, depending on what biome you're in, uh, there's a lot of different catches you can get. Uh, so that makes sense. Uh, if you're in a corruption, you're going to get corruption catches. If you're in a, in, uh, a hollow, you're going to get hollow catches, uh, and so forth and so on. So um, that that's pretty obvious. Um, that's not too special in itself. Um, but the catch with it all is, is that there are priorities. If there are multiple 
Um, if there are multiple different biomes in a single area, um, and th this goes for the background and the music and all that kind of stuff as well, uh, different biomes have priority. Uh, it is not the same as uh, the the background and music priority, so it'll be a little bit weird. But um, basically, the idea is uh, we are going to see. Let's go this way. Uh, avoid the plant terror bulb. Um, basically, we are going to. Uh, be creating a situation where we can change biomes easily and, that, and that's the idea uh, so we just need to get all the materials to make a bunch of different biomes hey we got a turtle shell that's kind of cool um, it's ironically what we were looking for in the uh, ice biome but it's the wrong type of turtle shell um, by the way we don't take uh, drowning damage anymore uh, because we are a mermaid in the water due to the celestial shell. Uh, just kind of something I forgot about, to be honest. Uh, so, is there a way we can get over? Um, there sure is. I love this. I love these digging claws. They're so fast, but the range is short, so it's not good for like all-purpose type stuff. All right. We can come over here and pop down. So, uh, basically, uh, the idea with all of this stuff is we're going to be making an area where blocks are very, very specifically um, different distances apart, so that as we move positions into a over a giant pool of water, um, we'll get different biomes uh, and that way we can do pretty much all the fishing quests um, that we need to. And here's the other thing, is with the position that we are building this farm, uh, we can easily choose between making, uh, we can easily choose between making the, the fishing catches, uh, Uh, we can we can choose between the fishing catches being uh, in the cavern layer or the surface layer, and that is also important because sometimes the uh, the guy the angler will want us to do different things. So we need 13 more, four more. So we had 10. So that's it. That's all we need. Um, that's all we have to do. So we're gonna go back. Um, we're going to pop downstairs, and filling up the uh, pools with water, I will do later. Um, but this is the part that's going to be fun. And first thing that we need to do is we're going to come over here, uh, and I need to look. Uh, what's the order? What's a good, what's the recommended order, I guess? Uh, so in order to make a biome, we need 200 uh, of Crimson and Corruption. Now we're going to do the Corruption first, all the way to the side. So one, two, three, four, I think. Uh, so these are 40, I think it's five. Uh, let me see. Yes, it is five. So uh, we just do this, and if we put enough of these blocks here, uh, it will create a Corruption. Um, and in order to see these blocks, in order for the biome to change for fishing, um, these blocks have to be in range. And in order to do that, um, we just have to stand farther along the, uh, water pool. So that, that's the ingenious way this works, is it's all about distance and keeping, um, different, different blocks farther away or closer depending on, um, which ones you want to use. So luckily, we, when we went to the Crimson World, we picked up enough uh, Crimstone that we can also do this. And there are a few things that we're not going to have. Um, we're not going to have a Mushroom Biome down here, because uh, I don't feel like doing that. That's not needed, and honestly, the main things I want are the Ebon Koi, uh, the Crimson. Uh, so you can hear the music just changed. 
and we're going to get different mobs. Um, and one thing that I am going to do eventually is put nice backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to make this place look a little bit nicer than it currently is. Um, just for now, it doesn't really matter. So just kind of build this up. So second is Crimson. And then it's going to get a little bit more complicated. Because uh, the Corruption and Crimson are pretty high on the list. And... Uh, they only require 200 blocks each. Uh, now jungles, as we've seen in the past, require... Uh, they only require a... Uh, what is it? It's 80. Uh, and this farm is set up to use jungle, uh, jungle grass rather than the lizard bricks. Which is not a bad thing, um, but it's going to make my, my count a little bit weird. Um, so next, I believe, is snow. Yes, we need a... F five wide column of snow. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it gets weird because snow needs 300 blocks um, in order to change. And we could use ice as well and that would get corrupted by probably the crimson. Um, but that's fine. Uh, snow doesn't get corrupted. There is no purple or pink or red snow. Um, so we don't have to worry about that, but this should use 200 blocks, and then we'll have 100 more that we'll need to use, and that's where things get a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, this is artificial biomes. Um, we can make an artificial crimson biome later if we wanted to. And now the other thing that this doesn't do is uh, it does not allow for, uh, what are they called, the... Uh, Oh, the the ocean catches. So now we need a three con, uh, three wide. That is combination of uh, lizard brick snow and well more lizard bricks. So it is three wide because there are. Uh, it assumes for the uh, uh, the one things the uh, the grass. So we don't need to put all of them in here, all the snow, but I'm going to. It should not matter, because uh, it's just a matter of getting enough snow. So, and then the last thing is a two wide column of snow. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just put all this stuff in here. And there we should have a jungle biome. And we can just keep going. Uh, and I'm going to go get more snow. Uh, like I said, even though uh, the middle one is only supposed to have 20 pieces of snow, because that's all you really need. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter too much. As long as you have 300, uh, you'll get a snowy biome. And then I can kind of demonstrate how this works. So um, depending on where we stand, so there is... Corruption, uh, you can see the background. So Corruption, if we go over a little bit farther, um, there's Crimson, there's Jungle, and there's Forest. So it's all about placement, and we'll get different things with uh, fishing than anything else. Now something I haven't really mentioned is why are we using uh, three wide blocks? Uh, so. Oh, I know I have more snow. Um, actually, it might be over here. I really need to get this organized. Uh, I also have a whole bunch of go uh, golden chest uh, crates, so we're going to open those today. Uh, Alright, we're going to open them a little bit sooner than I anticipated. We also have some iron. Why don't, eh, I don't feel like we don't need to open them. Um, I'd like to keep some just because it's going to be part of my sorting system, but at the same time, uh, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, then we have plenty of snow blocks. And then the only thing left is Pearlstone, aka the Hollow. Now, uh, so back to what I was saying, because I do that so often. Um, the reason we have three blocks on either side 
uh, is to prevent the corruption and stuff from spreading. So there we have ice. Uh, and so um, the corruption, crimson, and hollow can spread if there is um, corruptible blocks within three. So we put three uncorruptible blocks, the Martian conduit or the obsidian bricks, uh, and it can't go anywhere. So that's that's the idea. Did we just get a jungle key? Oh my gosh. Um, too bad we already have that one. Uh, that's the piranha gun, in case you don't remember. So last thing is the pearl stone, and the pearl stone has to go over here. The reason being is pearl, um, the hollow and crimson corruption will cancel each other out. Uh, and that's not good for what we're trying to do. Uh, like, we would need... Uh, I think it's... Uh, I think it's one hollow cancel out to corruption or something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly the the manner of which it corrupts uh, and like changes, but that is not something we really want. Um, so hopefully I can get Martians to summon in eventually, but there is the hollow and as you see the background changed as soon as we did that. So uh, we just secure this so uh, nothing spreads. And um, the idea is basically, let's make some Martian platforms. Make like 40 of those. And we're going to make 40 obsidian platforms as well. Alright, 42. So uh, the idea is, I think it's every 5 blocks. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Something like this. Did I only do four there? I did. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And there we go. So let's turn one of these back into perfect. Uh, so that should be exactly where we need to be um, for all the different things. And we can do something over here. That's the same thing. And the idea is um, we fill these pools up with water. Uh, they are 3 by 10. Or no, they are uh, however big they are. Um, they store uh, 300, so I think it's, I don't even know. Let's grab our, let's just make these back into those. Uh, we'll hit this. I want a quick stack. Uh, we'll put a workbench down here because why not? Um, I just want to grab my ruler. So, I think I need to make them a little bit bigger. Uh, I will adjust it, but it's... They're decently large. Um, it is 30 by 10 uh, is what it's supposed to be. So, yeah, I need to make them one taller, uh, which is not that big of a deal. Um, but I will fix that between episodes. But anyways, uh, this is our fishing pond. So I'm going to make the... Hopefully get the backgrounds nice. Uh, I might have to use something other than Martian Conduit, but um, that's pretty much what we need to do. So uh, any fishing we do up here, we are above the, uh, the zero mark on the map. Uh, any fishing we do in this water pool will be uh, considered surface, and anything down here will be considered underground slash cavern. Um, that'll allow us to get different things, and um, it should give us a, pl a plenty of all of the potion ingredients, all the fish potion ingredients, like the armored cave fish, the ebon koi. Um, there is one for the crimson, um, prismarine, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Don't I have an extra one of those? I know I have an extra bat fish. Uh, let's see, do I see one? No. 
Um, so I'll go catch one of those, and it won't be bad, but um, basically the idea is we will have this set up so that we can catch all these potion fish so that I can make plenty of potions, because probably not next episode, but probably the episode following that, we are going to take on the Moon Lord again, and it's going to be terrible, but, but, we might be able to actually do it. So, that's the plan anyways, uh, hopefully it goes well, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, I will put a link in the description below talking, um, with a, the forum post that does this, um, I'm gonna get some pumps or something, and just, uh, get water down here to fill these guys up, and fix them, because I realize I made them one too short, um, at least I think I did, but I will, I will make sure that there's 300 blocks of water, so it's, it's from here, okay, this one's good, uh, it's this one that's one short, which all I'll do is just, uh, yeah, that is just one short, so I'll just bring this up one, um, yeah, it won't be a problem. So that that is what I will do. Uh, and next episode, like I said, um, we're probably going to try to take on uh, the last two pillars and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!